Yo, it's your boy Shadow Shack here, and welcome to a video on how to dissolve into Lilith Mon, Belfamon, Rage Mold, and Sleeping Mold. So, if you guys are excited, make sure to hit that six like button, that'd be much appreciated. Let's jump into it. So, first thing first, pick up Pyramon. And the next one is Papamon, so now all you gotta do is wait to dish into the next form as well. So now you want to dissolve into Tsukamon with Tokamon, and as you can see, it's very easy to dissolve into Tsukamon, so you, you guys should not have any issue dissolving into this form. And with our boy Tsunamon, you want to dissolve into Gabamon Black, so as you can see, you must get three of those digivolution requirements, simple as well. So now let's move on to the next digivolution, yo. So now, with Gabumon Black, you want to go for Garurumon Black. So as you can see, you must get 8 of those 4 Digivolution requirements. As of now, I only have 3, but do not worry, I'll get 4 of them. And for Tukumon, you want to go for Cyber Drummon, and you need to get 4 of those Digivolution requirements. As you can see, I got all 6 of them, because it was pretty easy. But now, once you get them, you should be able to Digivolve into the next one. So now with Cyber Dramon, you want to go for Mega Dramon, you must get 6 of those Digivolution requirements. And for Bora Garurumon Black, you must go for Dumon, and you need 6 of them, and you should be able to Digivolve into the next form. So now, to Digimon to Little Mon is no joke, you must get 8 Digivolution requirements, and as you can see right now, I have 7 of them, so I'm surely gonna go for the speed for the last one, but as long as you got the one I have right now, you should not have any issue going for the Winsome or the speed, trust me, and this one was the hardest one yet for me to get, guys, so 
Yeah, if you want to get a little money, I highly recommend to be at less at the end of the game or something like that. Or have your training, you know, a little higher in stats because this is going to be very hard if you don't have that. So yeah, but now let me show you how to get Belfomon now. So now to digital into Belfomon, Slippermon is no joke as well. But as long as you did some really nice training from the start, everything should be fine. Trust me, guys. And now uh, another thing I want to mention is I almost lost the chance to get Belfomon, Slippermon. The reason so is because basically I got Belfomon on the last day, right? So I had to go to Seraphimon in the restaurant. And over there, what is cool is if you have Seraphimon, it will actually get your life to expand as long as you pay a good amount of money. So it's pretty cool, guys. So definitely go there if you want to have more chance to get Belfomon because you know if you just want to get it it's gonna be easy as long as you go to Seraphimon or get some life extending stuff then you should totally get him if you can't get him in less than 14 or 15 days so yeah but anyway here we go And just like that, we now have Lettermon and Belfomon Slip and Mall. But now, guys, if you want to digital into Belfomon Rage Mode, it's pretty simple. As long as you have a Demon Lord as one of your partner and Belfomon Slip and Mall, you should be able to digital into Rage Mode. But anyway, here we go. And just like that, we have Belfo Mode Rage Mod. I'm so happy to have this guy because it was a pain in the butt to get, but now we have him, so that's pretty awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that six like button. That'd be much appreciated. And if you have any suggestions on who I should go next, let me know. Peace out, yo.